hello there YouTube and welcome to a 40 degree Tuesday the 12th of March look at this although it's been pouring down rain all day as we come out to leave there's a little bright spot out here we'll take it anyone they'll give us we'll take it what are you doing down there Danny Magoo good old boy look at that at least the start of the ride will be be beautiful. I think it's supposed to rain most of the day, just like it like it's been. But anyway, let's start off uh, Tuesday. Y'all come on along. Nice start. Forty degree, forty six degrees, and partly sunny. A little uh, less sun than what it was at, at work, but we definitely went into the dark and lots of rain at one point. Yes, we did. Holy moly! Other than that, the ride to work was safe. No cr yeah, no crazies today. Yeah, It was a good home. Yeah. <laughs> well, my, I hear a semi truck somewhere. Yeah, I heard I don't see it. I just hear it. But uh, anyway, have yourself a wonderful day. I'll you see too. you as it goes on. All right. All right. Well, you see you. Bye. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. We're at GC's. The only reason I'm stopping now is. I don't have enough gas to get home and come back out here in the morning. But look at this. But then you go over to this side and there's a whole rain wall right there. <laughs> but at the moment it's dry, but it says rain's coming. And I think what it is, is that's coming. That's crazy. But coming home, it's off and on. Wet roads, dry roads, wet, wet roads. But, uh, man, I'm so crazy busy at work today. I didn't have a, even a moment to try to record anything. So uh, we'll figure out something when we get home. be nice if it's dry like this when I get home. Maybe I'll take the 350. I can get it in, get it in and out real quick. Let's go for a bomb around the neighborhood. But I have a feeling it could be wet because it was just wet right on top of the hill there. So we'll see. So the... Uh, Rain clouds that we've seen over the power line mountains back there was getting gas. It literally chased us up the hill. It looked like it was just sitting there stagnant when I was getting gas. And uh, as we're driving, going down the highway, that's kind of behind us, you know. And uh, I'm lucky. I keep looking in the in the mirror, looking back, and going, "That storm's chasing us." And uh, we did a, um, we pre-recorded a goodbye vlog because, I mean, it was coming fast and it was, you could tell it was going to get us. I was going to look at the radar because the roads were pretty dry when I got up the hill. I was thinking of taking this thing for a rip. And I could have. Good. Good thing that I did not take off. I would have flat got soaked because it came and just, woof, that was it. So anyway, we did the goodbye because we could see it was coming fast. And uh, in the goodbye, I say that, you know, I'm going to look at the radar and see what it's doing. And uh, anyway, went and put my stuff away inside and looked and yeah, nope, it was, it was coming, it's coming to, in a rush. But uh, now it's, it's later and uh, the stars are out. It was nice off and on most of the day here, today. But um, anyway, that's what it, it is, what it was. So. I come out here, I thought, well, I know what I'll do. Because I talked about this the other day. Is using that chain cleaner to uh, clean the chain. Well, it's kind of like some of the other stuff the guys use at work. You'd, you do the same thing. You spray it on, let it soak for a while, use a brush. And then it needs to be thoroughly rinsed off with water. And shockingly, it says, or a pressure washer. Whatever you do, don't ever hit your chain with a pressure washer. Those O-ring chains. Them O-rings seal the inner workings of the chain from all the, the grit and the grime. When you're lubing them, you're, you're basically, the lube is preserving the O-rings and it's lubricating the rollers. I got chain. I can't really see it from out here. I got a piece of chain. I got a piece of chain somewhere. Hmm. I don't know where. I know 
always got some. But anyway, the rollers that actually make contact with the with the teeth on the sprocket. Let me just get on my butt down here. Throw a little light out of here. That probably help. But the rollers that are on the inside, you know, you can. Well, of course, this one's new enough; it doesn't move. When I get some time on them, you can actually, you know, stick your finger in there and move them around. This one's new enough; it's all probably packed with grease. But um, anyway, <clears throat> anyway, those are not sealed. What's sealing is the inner workings of the chain. The O-rings are on the outside of the links between the inner links and the outer link, and um, it keeps all that that lubricated. The rollers are not lubricated. I've even oh my lord, some of the stuff you can see on the internet. I've literally seen people say you don't ever have to lube your chain. Because it's, it's O-ring. The grease stays inside. You don't need to lube the chain. You have to lube the chain because the rollers are not sealed. They need lubricant. I've uh, Didn't I show you guys that Kawasaki is a KLR that's sitting up on the ramp? And where the rollers were, <clears throat> several of the rollers are missing? Yeah. You have to lubricate your chain. You know, they... Depends on who a lot of them say every four to five hundred miles. And um the stuff I use, you know, like the the BMW stuff, it's it's a um, it lasts every bit of that. But I just listen to them. They make a sound. They they t they tell you when they need to be lubed. They start hissing, you hear that sh sh sound of the of the chain. It's just a dry sound of a dry chain. Now, the O-rings are sealing the inner parts of the chain, which are the most crucial and take probably the biggest load because the rollers are riding on another pin that is wide. So the, the roller is not very, not very thick. It's riding on a, on a fairly large chunk in the middle. There's like, it seems like there's like two layers. If you ever take a chain apart, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you got to bust that inner link apart because that's the only way you can see the. Because you know when you're adjusting or putting on a new chain, you either you know you're usually cut because the chains you they send them in a fixed length and you cut it the length. You know you're only manipulating the outer link. But if you uh, break break one apart and you see the inner parts, you'll see that that's not sealed. But the where the pin goes through the inner piece that. The roller rides on, the inside of that is lubricated, and that's where the, the load, you know, transfers over. But, um, yeah, they haven't come up with a way of sealing those in. Well, they would probably make it weird because they need to be somewhat free-floating, but it requires lube in there. Don't ever listen to anybody that says you don't need to lube your chain. <laughs> and also the, you know, one of the, things that works really really good for cleaning old chain lube off is wd-40 and you get people freak out ah you don't ever put wd-40 on an o-ring chain it dissolves the o-rings and there's all these wives tales dude i i don't know anybody that's you know does this for a living that doesn't use wd-40 to clean their chain <laughs> wd-40 and old terry cloth to knock the big stuff, you know, you do the brush thing up first and then just wet the cloth. It does not harm them O-rings. I had one guy goes, do you know what WD-40 means? Dear God, I've known since I was a little kid, water disbursement, 40th attempt. Every If you ever had anything to do with WD-40, you know that. I'm surprised that's not written on the can nowadays. You always get some guy, you know what WD-40 stands for? But anyway, I've had some people freak out saying it it eats the eats the O rings and stuff like it. It's a water disbursement thing. It's not a lubricant. Mm, not saying it's a lubricant. It works great. It dissolves. You get it all caked on your rims. If you get a little crazy lubing it, or you want to clean your sprockets, you know, you just reach in it, non running motorcycle, and just by hand. Reach in, you can clean the, the gunk off your sprocket really easy with WD-40. But it does a great job cleaning them. But you got to be careful. You know, it, it, it will dissipate. But if you try to lube your chain while it's soaking wet with WD-40, 
uh, it, it can uh, make the, the chain lubes stick less than perfectly. Great cleaner. Absolutely wonderful cleaner. But uh, anyway, I can't do this because I, I can't. And, you know, before I can lube it, they say to, you know, spray it off with water. Uh, do you guys remember Kurt that was down there? It was quite a few years ago now. But he was he was the most... You remember I used to joke, I'm going to take my drive my DR to work just to have him clean and lube my chain. He went, oh, look, I see a zip tie with a with a razor blade on it. Drives me nuts when I see that. It's amazing how many bikes I work on that whoever worked on it last has them, you know, they do accessories. They're all over the place. Um, I just got one of those the other day. Them things will open you up. That's what we jokingly say. They're little exacto knife blades all throughout the motorcycle. But um, anyway, Kurt would clean these things. He had the best thing shielding everything away. Oh, it stunk like holy heck out there. But he would use, uh, what was the stuff he cleaned it with? It wasn't kerosene. Oh, there's a bottle. There's a little bit left in a bottle. That's I think it's under my bench now. I think he gave it to me when he left. But uh, I've used it once to clean a chain, and it does a crazy. I know it's blue label instead of green label, or green instead of blue. I forget which. But uh, one's got some kind of a chemical in it that is that can harm your your O rings. So I don't remember which. I just have to look at the bottle because the bottle I have is the one that works. And um, it stinks so bad. Oh, man. And I can't use it. It just smells so bad. I can't. And it just fills the room. And anybody that comes down in the service area is going, why does that smell? It smells like kerosene. I think it's some kind of something like that. I'll try to remember and look tomorrow. But he'd spray it down with that. Well, it's very water-soluble. And he'd have you know, a water bottle. He'd spray that thing down. Then blow it off with air, dry that chain out, and then you put the BMW chain lube on there, and off you went. He became a huge fan of the BMW chain lube himself, too. In fact, it was him going on about it that <laughs> made me try it the first time, and yeah, I've been hooked ever since. So I'm not going to clean this tonight because it needs to be rinsed with water and uh, let it dry and then lubricate it. And I can't, if I did it now, one, I'm not dragging this thing outside in the dark because it's uh, almost 1030 out here. And um, anyway, I'm not going to drag it out there in the dark and then bring it in here and let it dry out and rust before I lube it. And I'll probably do the same thing. I'll just blow it with compressed air, just dry it out. You're just going to dry the outside and, you know, and you gotta remember that, that water is inside the rollers too. I need to take one of these things apart so I can show you. Actually, I think you probably find some diagrams that show it pretty good. I like how you can see see the grease. They even grease the the adjuster sliders in there. That's nice. Royal Enfield taking care of us. There's a big old clump of grease. So, ooh, yep. What I do? Reach up there and touch it. I'm surprised I haven't wiped something on there and got it on me. Oh, I keep forgetting. I, I forgot I'll, you know, I set that one plug in on my Royal Enfield because it, it was sticking out a little bit, and I went tap, 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 and seated it in with a little rubber mallet. Went on that first ride, and uh, she gone. She gone. But, um, yeah, take care. It's just usually because this BMW stuff doesn't collect hardly any dirt. I mean, it runs really clean. It's just the nicest. I even use it on my, on my DR now, and um, it, it collects hardly nothing. So it's not much cleaning to it. I mean, literally nothing to it. And for the longest time, it just gets lubed over and over and over, because the lube goes on so wet-like when it goes on that it actually has a cleaning effect as as you're spraying it on. It just magical stuff. And it clings to it. That's definitely some thick... That's just that old V-grease that they've been putting on chains since sometime in the 80s they started doing that. 
that chain that Ryan got for, for this thing. It was still an original. It was some new old stock. And um, <clears throat> it smelled like grease or uh, hypoid grease. That's back, That's when I was a kid, how you lubed that stuff was your old man had some old 80, 90 weight rear diff oil or whatever it was used for back in the day. So that's what we lubed the chains with. We'd put them in those little little metal, you know, little bottles. You filled the oil in there, and it was a, you could squeeze it. Had the little, uh, you know, the trigger, and you very carefully lube your chain. That stuff flung everywhere, and it collected everything. And um, I think it was my dad or something that turned me on to clean the chain with WD-40. Just get it, get it good and soaked in a, in a rag, and just use a terry cloth. Old dead rag, and um, you get a. <laughs> it puts an end to the rag, but you can clean. You know, you get a, like a hand towel type of thing, and you got many, many chain cleans out of it. But little, little WD forty doesn't smell that bad. But I used to take um, a coffee metal. Of course, they're all metal coffee cans back then. Just shove it in that coffee can, and it kind of, you can't cap it off because you don't want it to you know, self-combust or anything on you, but the contains the smell of it. Plus, who doesn't like the smell of WD-40? You don't like the smell of WD-40, something's a little, something's a little funny upstairs. There's just certain things that have a smell. Speaking of coffee, even if you don't drink coffee, how do you not open up a can of coffee and go, wow, that smells good? Oh, I guess we turn that light off. Reflecting everything all over the place. Come on. There we are. Lord. Anyway, I think that's what I'm gonna have for a vlog. Basically, me leaving for work, me coming back to work, and t sitting on my butt talking about a chain. Good Lord, I'm gonna waste time doing nothing. But uh, anyway, as simple as it goes. So, um, I guess I'm gonna conclude that, and I'll go to the um, goodbye that I recorded like four hours ago, something like that. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. So I'll leave you with Kelly and I saying a goodbye and nice weather. Well, hello there, you two. Uh, I think pretty much the storm we've seen over the Powerline Hills is uh, it came at us here. So yeah, it followed us. Yep. That is like 44, 45 degrees yeah, out here. It's got a bite to it. That'd be a cold ride, even if I risk this. Yeah, it's, it's gonna get it's gonna get us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd be out there. The roads actually aren't too bad. You have to avoid a few spots. But uh, I could have got a ride in. But uh, yeah, I, I'd never make it back before that hit us. No. Radar shows. Fast. Look out. She's coming fast. Yep. Anyway, it was a crazy busy. Um, yeah, it was all spider stuff, wasn't it? No, yeah. Doing all the service on the BMW. And uh, did a, some stuff with a, a, a 2015 or 16, I think it was a 15 RT Limited. And uh, it was a busy day. Nice. You can, you can tell we're over the slow spot. Schedule's yeah. filling up and people are panicking. Yeah. Especially this ride. weekend's going to be nice. And for the like foreseeable future, it looks like yeah. it's nice. The next 10 days, anyway. Yeah. As long as it goes out. Anyway. Yeah. But, uh, Nice and warm. We see flowers blooming. Yeah. What are those cherry? Cherry blossoms. Yeah, cherry blossoms. On the way home, it's like, heck yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. Yep. And uh, uh, spring is not tomorrow, it's next Wednesday. I had 13 in my head for some reason, actually, on the 19th. So, but anyway, on that, we're going to bounce. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Thank you. All right. All right. See you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Danny just flew through. <laughs>